Her name was Rio, and she dances in the sand. Is that right, buddy? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to no one. How you been? Cool? Really? That's awesome. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, enough about you. Let's talk about me. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, just got back from a little vacation. Uh, before that, I... I don't know if you guys noticed, I haven't been commenting on a lot of your videos. Uh, I try to watch as much as I can, and uh, I've just been very busy with work lately, and uh, my kids are out of school now on summer vacation, summer break, so when I'm not at work, I'm with them. And uh, unfortunately, YouTube and comics have to be pushed aside, usually in the summer. So, uh, hopefully you guys accept my apology. If not, then I totally understand. But most of my friends I keep in touch with on Twitter, so uh, you guys all know what's, what's going on. Uh, anyways, like I said, I went, I went on vacation. Uh, I found this shop. Actually, it's a garage from a house converted into a comic book shop. Um, most of the stuff in there didn't interest me. I own most of that shit. Oh, crap, my hair. But anyways, uh, what interests me were the 50 cent bins. That's what got my attention. I'm all about the 50 cent bins, just like when I went to Moore City Comic Con. Uh, I was very intrigued with the 50 cent bins. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so I was happy to come across 50 cent bins here. Jesus Christ. Where's my... Never mind. Okay. So, uh, don't mind the hair. Oh god, okay. I look like Morrissey, la la la, just charming man. That's better. Now you know what I'm talking about. Alright guys. Here's my Hulk. Hulkaholic, I'm a Hulkaholic. 50 cents. First up, no particular order. Swamp Thing number 67. 50 cents. Uh, the only reason why I picked up this book is because of uh, a lot of videos on here from a bunch of people I'm not subscribed subscribe to uh, speculating on this book is a hot book because of the special preview of Hellblazer. So it caught my attention. I do not pick up Saga of the Swamp Thing in single issues. I actually own this in trade. I think I showed it once in a contest video two years ago when Scott's running with comics. The Punisher, number 104. This is the last issue of Volume 2 of Punisher. I already own this copy. I have the complete run of Punisher Volume 2, 104 issues. The reason why I bought it was because it was 50 cents. I paid $10 for my issue. So, 50 cents? You do the math. And the math is correct. Here is the Tomb of Dracula, number 36. Slowly working on this run. Um, 50 cents, absolutely. Warehouse has these for four, five, eight dollars for, you know, non-significant issue numbers. So I'm like, whatever. 50 cents. I'll try to complete it. Commandy number 50 added to my Commandy room. This is the OMAC cover. Changing, 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 and Commandy becomes a one man army corps. Good stuff. Spawn Batman. Frank Miller, Tommy Farley. 50 cents. Yes. Oh, Fleming Carrot, are they all together? This one's for 87 Boba Fett. Mikey, pay attention because my computer is going to die. 50 cents. Flaming Carrot number 16. Here come the mystery men. 
Look, he's getting kicked in the butt by a boot with the shape of the swastika. So what do we care at number 15? Hey look at the hey look at these girls. I stick my hand off this side of the cover and it comes back in over there. Oh I see. Look, 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 look. Choo, choo. And my fingernails are dirty. Number 24. Great bucks, great issues. Pieces for Mom, A Tale of the Young Dead by Steve Niles. This is a one shot. I like Steve Niles, so, and I like zombies, and um, I was like, I'm gonna get this. Mercy Sparks, 50 cents, first appearance of Mercy Sparks. Josh Blaylock, Matt Murhoff. That is awesome. And here's Purgatory number one. Chaos Comics. Purgatory, number two of four, I think. I can't remember anymore. And here's Retro Rocket, number one. This is actually, I picked this up because it's the name of the shop that's near my house that I'm not allowed to go to anymore. Uh, Savage Dragon, 124. Check out this cover, man. Holy, that's wicked. That's a swipe of some Silver Age comic that I have no idea what it is. That's pretty cool. The only Silver Age Savage Dragon. And ladies and gentlemen, I have finished my Batgirl run. Yes, the one and only Stephanie Brown Batgirl run. Here's number one, 50 cents. Number 17, 50 cents. And I got another copy of number 14. Because I love this cover so much. So that's two. That is done. Oh, Dark Horse Presents number 88. There's a Hellboy story in there. This is actually, what year is this? 1994. Nate, hook me up. What's this about? All new first issue number one, Weapon X. This is a little cover swipe of Wolverine number one, but that saber tooth right there, that's pretty cool. That is pretty nice. Who did this story? Uh, sorry, I didn't do any research on my books. I'm going in <coughs> legit. No Wikipedia for this guy. Uh, Toxin number one of six, The Son of Carnage. Holy, this looks like shit. The Amazing Spider Man number seven. This is the. When they renumber, you know, do you know Marvel renumbers their issues? They do. Check it out. I know it's weird, but this is number seven. In that run. Amazing Spider-Man. Uncanny X-Men number 440. I need this. Chomping at my Uncanny X-Men. Kicking some ass in my Uncanny X-Men. And there's Uncanny X-Men number 539. This is, this one's nice. That's a sweet ass cover, Wolverine. Hey man, it's hot in this tube. Cable vs. Deadpool. What? I bought Deadpool? Yeah, for 50 cents. I'm buying all day. Here's number 15. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's number 14. No particular order. I don't care. Here's number 13. Oh, nice cover. That is sweet. So I think I have an arc. I have an arc there. I'll give it a read. Uh, some Rick Remender stuff. Dr. Monkeybot, pay attention. Because I know you're going to like these. This is Dawling Creature, issue two. Looks awesome. The art is done by John Keating. Really nice. Here's number three. Oh, there goes my battery again. And here's number four. Cool Rick Remander image books. Looks friggin' awesome. Looks like a friggin' hillbilly, uh, not hillbilly, a uh, rockabilly Frankenstein, which is damn cool. Ooh, gun candy. Look at this cover. Try this. Are you disappointed in me? I bought it for the cover, dude. Uh, The Haunted, number one. More Chaos Comics. I'm really digging these covers. Um, 
The Last Zombie. I have no idea. I think I bought two different volumes, but whatever. Here's The Last Zombie by Brian Keane, number one. Kind of looks, reminds me of a revival cover to it. There you go. This is the before the after, and this is the end, number two. But it's not. I guess the first arc is called before the after. The second arc was called the end, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, good following. Brian Wood, Ryan Kelly, local, number one. Takes place in Portland, Oregon. Did you? I think. You heard of this? Tell me what it's about. Mind management. This is a reprint of number one for one, the one whatever cheap stuff, 50 cents. Always wanted to give it a shot. And uh, met Richard Comley at the comic shop. He actually signed this for my son right there. Had a huge conversation with him. Great guy. Uh, talked about George Freeman as well, the art, because he was fresh in my mind from the conversation I had with Sleepy Reader 666 on Canada Day. Um, awesome, down to earth guy. Just freaking incredible. And I also got this. I'm not a hardcover trades guy. This is revival. You guys know I own it all in singles. I own all my all the essential reading, I guess, in comic books and singles. I'm not really a trade hardcover, whatever graphic novel guy. But revival hardcover. This is for the wife. Money. I boy. I always talk to. I always talk about revival to her. Tell her how cool it is. Wanted to get into it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So anyways, guys, uh, it was good seeing you. Hope to chat with you guys in the comments down below. Uh, really miss doing some hangouts with people. I really miss talking comics. Uh, I promise I'm going to get busy with the YouTube. I'm going to start watching more videos as, you know, as soon as I have some more time. Um, I just miss you guys. I miss, uh, miss all that shit, man. Miss all that shit. All right, guys, be safe, and I'll see you on Twitter now.